John 15, 4, 6. Abide in me and I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abides in the vine. No more can ye um, abide in, can ye, no more can ye except ye abide in me. Right? You cannot bear fruit unless you abide in Christ. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For with me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Guys, this is saying you need fruit to be saved. Watch carefully. Right? A branch cannot bear fruit of itself at, on, except it abides in the vine. What does that mean? That if the, by, the, the branch abides in the vine, what will happen? It will bear fruit, right? And so what happens to the one that, um, and if a man abide not in me, he is, he is unable to bring forth fruit and he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Now, someone says, oh, to abide in Christ just means to believe the, the true gospel. Is that what it means to abide? Right? He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked. So to abide in Christ means to walk as he walked. But not only that, we know that there are only, only one person is thrown into the fire. Only one kind of person, unbelievers. But what did 1 John also teach us, right? 1 John taught us that he that does not keep his commandments do not know him. And they are a liar. And so if they do not keep his commandments and do not know him, who does Jesus say to, to depart from me? I never knew you. Who does he say to depart from you? People who do not know him, who follow him, who are saved from perishing. His sheep, his sheep hear his voice, believe him, and what? Follow him. They're all interconnected, guys. All these verse are inter verses are interconnected. It is only the sheep that do not perish. The sheep follow Christ, and, right? And they know him. Oh, anyone who does not keep his commandments and says they know him is a liar, right? He, whoever doesn't abide, what? Doesn't bear fruit and is withered and thrown into the fire. The word of God says in John chapter 15, starting off in verse one, Jesus speaking here, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it that it may bring forth more fruit. Jesus draws a distinction between a branch that beareth not fruit and a branch that beareth fruit. Branches that do not bear fruit are taken away, while branches that do produce fruit are purged, that they may bring forth more fruit. The father is the husbandman, Jesus is the vine, and believers are the branches. Look at verse three. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him. Notice this. The same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. Bearing fruit as a believer is conditioned upon abiding in Christ. Just as the branch apart from the vine cannot bear fruit, neither can the believer apart from the Lord. Meaning, I can do nothing for God without God. Jesus said, without me ye can do nothing. Look at verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, 
and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. The believer that does not abide, consequently, does not bring forth fruit. This believer is likened unto a branch that is cast forth and withered. Men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Signifying what? The loss of salvation? No. Signifying that they are not suitable for service. They are not meet for the master's use. Watch this. They are not fit to bring forth fruit. I'll say that again. They are not suitable for service. They are not meet for the master's use. They are not fit to bring forth fruit. This passage is pertaining to discipleship, not salvation. You say, prove it. Look at verse 8. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. Watch this. So shall ye be my, what? Disciples. Say that again. So shall ye be my disciples. Concerning salvation, Jesus said in John chapter 6 verse 37, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me, notice this, I will in no wise or in no way cast out. However, the believer can be disapproved concerning discipleship. They can suffer the loss of potential reward in heaven and become cast away concerning a crown. Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, starting off in verse 24, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, or the reward. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain what? a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Notice this language, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Our life outside of Christ amounts to wood, hay, and stubble. We are as a withered branch that men gather and burn. Why? Because that's all it's good for. We are not meat for any work. We are not fit to bring forth fruit. We are not suitable for service. Ezekiel chapter 15 verse 1 says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree? Or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? Shall wood be taken thereof to do any work? Or will men take a pen of it to hang any vessel thereon? Notice this. Behold, it is cast into what? The fire. Why? For fuel. The fire devoureth both the ends of it and the midst of it is burned. Notice this question. Is it meat for any work. Behold, when it was whole, it was meat for no work. How much less shall it be meat yet for any work when the fire hath devoured it and it is burned? 